such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stop. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight. I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the route's clear. Allow me to present Max Payne. Max, dearest of all my friends. Payne? Did you take that beer in the Max, I'm one one. Sorry, I'm looking. Run! There. Max, about what happened. Ah. What are you still afraid of? What do you want from me? There was a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. In the main residence. Dr. Magdalena from ER. You can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! Bullshit. You can't run from your past. 
you'll end up running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from, only the hole's grown deeper. I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. Like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. Just show me the way upstairs. Whatever you say, detective. 
He's a guy! <laughs> Coward! The perps were masquerading as cleaners. storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beat. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here. Give your gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happened to you, anything comes up, just listen, and I'll be there. You have no new messages. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life. It started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. After him, don't let him go. How long can it take? They're not supposed to cuddle with her afterwards. We need to wrap this up. Kaufman wants us to move. There! Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it.
it. Hey, we're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. And he's down. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York Finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Theater's guests. Prepare to die. Wow. Shut up and stay alive. I'm coming. Max, you heard him. He's coming for you. Max, these wise guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. You're Max Fan. Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Jesus Christ, Apocalypse Now! Got some heavy shit here! Tone it down. Just take everything. Leave them nothing. Hey, be on the lookout. The Russians are sneaky bastards. <laughs> Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. For it. Stop it.
fun for a moment there. But my gun doesn't have unlimited ammo. If you can, hurry. Big trouble. Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Oh, no pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hit a truck! <laughs> Nitty, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> A hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken 
my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. There was a clue. Sorry, I woke you. Shh. It's a secret. You must tell no one. Max. Max. You better answer that. Max. 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 Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Shoot that kill! You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Put it, put it down now. Drop your weapon. My hero. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Find out what was going on. 
It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. You're done for! Mona! Hold it! Something was barring the door from the other. jammed the elevator. Oh no, you won't! Get out! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. Okay, let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighborhood. He was trespassing. You saw it. Used to be a time when you didn't have to lock your door. You give me no choice. Here, I can see that this was a yes, dreadful uh, mistake. No. My lady, no. Surely. Kaufman wants us taken off. care of. Let's just find the guy so we can off him and go home. You know what this is? Oh! Oh, crap! I heard a noise. A noise woke me up. Such a nice young man, coming to see an old lady like me. Just passing through, ma'am. Such a nice boy. Not like the ones upstairs. They say they're renovating, but it's too quiet. They're up to no good. The doctor gave me pills for my hip, but it's all better now. You should take them. You look a bit pinched, dear. They're in the bathroom. With all these cleaners, you'd think that the place would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Peeping toms. Oh, I remember sunlit days in the countryside with my Ben. Or was that something I saw on TV? I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple, not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job.
Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more coming behind the door. Closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Leave a message. Hey, where are you? You're late again. Look, this insomnia crap is fooling anybody. I know what it's like. I, I just want to help. You should come to an AA meeting with me. Thank you for calling Dangerous Liaisons. For Candy, press 1. For Sandy, press 2. For Mona, press 3. You press 3 for Mona. Hi, this is Mona. What's your name? I just need someone to talk to. Honey, this is a phone sex line. All we do is talk. Right. It's... How do you fix something like that? How do you make amends? I thought it would help, but it only made it worse. Just give me your credit card number and I can listen to you all night. Killing them all only made it worse. I didn't bring them back. Hey, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Sorry, this was... Sorry. It's not the... I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Now, they want to clean me out. See you in hell. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor oh, Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. You can always tell the difference between a pigeon and a dove from the drop-ins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, night, it's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD, I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. I'm not talking to you.
descent to madness. The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Help! <coughs> oh, 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 bless you. <laughs> I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> The gas from the broken pipe was feeding the flames. I couldn't get through. He was terrified something would happen to me. I busted my hump. It's up and left. Damn slime bags, open up! There are people trapped in here. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. You coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor. If you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'm Violet. Violet, baby. <laughs> uh, freeze! <laughs> gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem.
<laughs> hey, you do your job, and afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. I'll cover you from here. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. Innocent people got killed. You didn't do your job, Payne. To protect and serve isn't just bullshit hype. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me, about Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners, I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Cogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence, but that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at a joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Fun House is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. 
John Mira. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Lords and ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so. If the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful error? We keep driving into the night. Such a late goodbye. Now, I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Walks across the room, slow. Taking a time. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are working here. This is a pro setup, top of the line. This isn't something to joke about. This isn't just a costume party. We'll take Kaufman. Believe me, without going into details, Kaufman is a bad motherfucker. Of course, that's not his real name. Yeah, no, I see it. I, I meant nothing by it. That's the other thing. You should mean something by it. Take a stand for once in your life. Come on, I get the point, okay? Hey, just saying. Just saying. Yeah, I get the point. 
Yeah. Fire in the hole! Ah! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gotta look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. Shoot! Shoot! We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. you already. We're much better off than they were. It's great! Idea. 
says Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? I don't know. For fun. The thrill of it. Like bungee jumping. Extreme sports. You know. Don't get it. That's something for stupid kids with a death wish. I don't need to die to feel I'm alive. This isn't exact. You're dead. <laughs> Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Someone got to Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Find him and take care of him. to me in the first place for help for something she wasn't telling me NYPD freeze easy don't move pain what are you doing what are you doing the million dollar question I didn't have the answer to What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Pervora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotes himself from deputy chief to lieutenant 
just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me, he loves us all a bit too much for his own good. The spokesperson for AA, he gave you that too? Gotta hand it to him, though. He did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinny Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. Right. We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fall guy! I've been framed! It's a setup! I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, they were gonna whack me. Motherfuckers, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone, it's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They kill themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. A and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman. And that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. 
I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you'd just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. Okay, so how would you like to take this forward? Give me a gun and set me loose, and I'll have this mess sorted out in no time. Okay, wise guy, the comedy hour is over. You shut up for a while so I can write this crap down. How's anyone supposed to find anything from here? Go away, I'm busy. Some of us have work to do. Hey, we're watching that. Get out of the way, Payne. Hey, we were watching that, asshole. Hey, him, nice going, no Payne. Good job. Is if it was still summer, you'd mistress. be a dead man right about oh, now. You better she stop no praying. Lady. We won't get an Indian oh, summer, good, Payne. Good, Jack, my son. Jack, my Loser jerk sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now, the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment, and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. How come it's this hot in here? It's fallen raining outside. Has someone messed up the air conditioning again? 10-4. Repeat. Sorry, detective. Can't help you now. I need to take this call. For crying out loud, is it too much? expect anyone to remember your name if you can't spell it right yourself, Prasad. It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack it. It'll be done when it's done. I'm gonna do it right. It's the spirit of the law, not the letter. I'll be on your back about it till you do. You already put a snake in my bed. What more can you do? The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Payne here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. <clears throat> Not again, Jesus, not again. Just when we got rid of the stench of the last time. Petersburg, do I look like a clean... Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him. Can I use your phone? There's one through the door behind you. Sense. You can use that. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me.
Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. Staying here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them. Even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute! Talk to me! What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want, by Max Payne. A smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there.
trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it. Or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. the killer bitch no sidetracking that's what the boss said yeah yeah all for it can't wait to get out of here this place gives me the creeps hey what the hell ah! Ah! Was a misnomer. they were making a mess of it i hate this i hate this i'm not going in there come on you was Mona's playground. There! She's up there! Look out! She had disappeared back into the shadows. An intervention from above, over too soon. Backdrop. I'll let you through. Max, clean it. speeding away in their vans. I had only one chance, no time to stop and think it through. 
I had no choice. I couldn't have waited for Mona. It was Vlad's excuse. Fate. I didn't trust myself. Max. I'd forgotten about the radio Mona had given me. Max. I'm here to go ride with the cleaners. I'll let you know when we get where we're going. Max, about what happened. I can't talk now. I couldn't crack her. I had to crack the case. Mona, Castling Insurance Company's construction site. I'm on my way. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes, you'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. Hey, what the fuck? I thought of Vlad's Trojan horse. I'd gotten into the cleaner's hideout in the back of their van. They'd give me directions to the evidence on the top floor. The dangerous red boxes the cleaners had talked about were containers filled with explosives. This is just it. Kaufman's dead. Everyone's dead except for them. We screwed up, so we're dead too. Boss is gonna kill us. Bullshit. Who's he to talk? He went up against her himself, and look how that ended up. That's just it. <laughs> building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Get this. He tells me I'm new to the job. I'm working with all the colors except green. What the hell is that supposed to mean? 
could be like symbolism, like saying you're green. He said I wasn't using green. Everything but green. Was that like saying you're using too many co- Die, pain. <laughs> Senator Gate escaped from custody. The bomb itself caused no casualties due to the heroic efforts of the police officers present at the time, but the lives of two officers and several felons in custody were lost in the subsequent shooting. Lieutenant Jim Bravora stressed that Sachs is armed and extremely dangerous. NYPD is conducting an investigation into the allegations that Sachs had inside help in her escape. And an APB has also been put out on Detective Max Payne, who had already been suspended and under investigation on previous misconducts and connections to Sachs. Here goes! Shoot! You understand, this is an over our dead bodies kind of situation. We've got an intruder, probably more than one. None of them's getting past this point alive. Vlad had said Gogniti was eliminating the competition. Was that why the cleaners had hit Vlad's gun workshop? The room was full of illegal firearms, enough to outfit an army. Mona, these guys are packing, close to overkill, hardcore professionals. Doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. What's that supposed to mean? Ha <laughs> ha! 
guys. The cleaners had shed their skins. This was their turf. No need for disguises anymore. Negative. Like always, the dead had all the answers I was missing. It wasn't that they weren't eager to talk. Quite the contrary. The dead had plenty to say. And once they started, they would never shut up. Their words would keep you awake at night. The bodies, all the evidence of all the murders the cleaners had done. All the answers. It would take days to dig through it. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't this- Go to hell, Max. Mona? Damn. This cleaner stuff's made me think. Didn't use- Hey! There he is! We got him! We got him! No! Stop! The room's full of explosives! Stop shooting! Oh, shit! Run! Run! What's going on? The building's blowing up. That's what's going on.
I didn't know what Mona wanted, if it was the same thing I was after. To kill those who were trying to kill her. The bullet, real or imagined, lodged in her head, routing her synapses, driving her on. She had arrived to the site while I was inside the condemned building. I don't know what went on with her. Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? A condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Be that way. Okay, so we're breaking our backs hauling a hardware here because the choir building's not going to exist much longer. But what are we supposed to do with the bodies? They're not going to magically turn to dust when the building blows up. It's going to be a mess. The boss will figure it out. Trust his twisted evil mind on this. Suck <laughs>
to overkill hardcore professionals. Oh, baby. Doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. Cover me! This sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't Go this. to hell, Max. Bastard. Negative. What's going on? The building's blowing up. That's what's going on. Max? Damn you. Cover me! Max, what's happening? Throw the rules out the window. Odds are you'll go that way too. Max? Max! <clears throat> this hadn't been my first fall in the night. Still just a prelude to the real deal. Still a long way to the bottom. Max, company. Mona, you have to take them out. Buy me time. I couldn't live without her. Can't get a good shot from here. I'll have to backtrack through the building to get a better view. It's not like I'm in a hurry. Do you want us to crack jokes about it? Or do you want me to go? Go. Thought so. I was in trouble. I could only hope that Mona would find an opening with a view down to the yard to take the commandos out in time.
grid's clear. I'm moving. Cover me. This is gonna sound like a rerun, but they've got me pinned down here. I'm on it. I'll circle to the scaffolding on the other side of the yard. I was running out of time. I kept my eyes on the scaffolding, hoping to see Mona there. Mona, it's not me, but the guys are getting anxious. They're... Max, I'm here. Okay, I'll work my way through the building to meet you there. Mona, found something to keep me on my feet through this. Mona must have heard the sirens too. She must not have been too happy about it. Damn you, Max. I told you no cops. How's the view, Mona? Aim for the gas bottles. First door here is also locked. What's worse is the commandos are happy to see me. I'm going for the second door. I'll cover you. Locked. Running out of doors here. One left across the yard. I'll need cover fire to reach it. Okay, stay where you are. I'll let you know when I'm in position to cover you from the other side of the yard. If she couldn't make it to the other side of the yard, I wouldn't make it out of there alive. It was that simple. Okay, action. Ready? Get set, go. And he's off. The crowd goes wild. Meet you on the other side. Listen, Mona. The fun house. You wanted to talk about what happened. Yeah. Well. Well what, Max? Pete, you're breaking up. Damn it. More commandos. Mona, can't you? Max? Max, come in. Can you hear me? Bastard.
Stay frosty. The siren sirens had faded away. Mona must have been relieved. Some other emergency someplace else. Bottom of the pit. I'll find a way up. Okay. The commandos don't want us to leave. I'll talk to them. gun is a binary choice. You either pull the trigger or you don't. Stop! Stop! Wait!
Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. As surely as the bullet rips through the victim's flesh, organ, and bone, it shatters the image of the man who presses the trigger. Easy. Back off, Payne. This is what I see when I look back. These moments, blinding as snow, they kill you, change you. You die and live again, remade. No, Mona. Winters! Ben climbing out, you can still fall back down in an instant. I had a dream of my wife. In it, I murdered her for my lover. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs, get him to ICU. Stat. He's not responding. This guy is a traitor. I had chosen Mona. It felt like I had lost her. You're a real angel, Max. <laughs> Max. 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 She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. Easy. Back off, Payne. No, Mona. Winterson. Pain. 
Paid. You must be. You got the cleaners, Andy Finn, Senator Gate, Mr. Corcoran. They were just peripheral noise surrounding the case. Winterson's murder was what it was all about. The cost of passion, my courtship of Mona Sachs, my case, my crime. It wasn't about finding the killer. I was it. It was about looking for a deserving patsy to pin the blame on. Max, she is a murderer. Max, back She's off, after Payne. us. Max, stay She's back. one of them. Winterson's phone. Max, it's Max, your duty as a detective. Glad. Too late, Max. Duty, you are under That's arrest the best for you murder. Can do. I'm doing this for you, Max. A bullet in the head. I can end the pain. come to amidst the wreckage of your own making. Do you stay there, eyes squeezed shut, afraid to move, hoping to bleed to death? Or do you crawl out, help your loved ones, make sure the fire doesn't spread, try to fix it? This is your final warning. We have surrounded the building. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. All this time, we got the fable of Sleeping Beauty wrong. All units are in position. We are ready to go. The prince didn't kiss her to wake her up. No one who slept for a hundred years is likely to wake up. Okay, people, get ready to go in. We are gonna hit the place. It was the other way around. He kisses her to wake himself up from the nightmare that has brought him there. hospital earlier tonight. I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer. A cop killer. There are things in life you cannot choose. How you feel. I had lain at the bottom of the hole long enough. Too long. The cleaning company commandos were coming for me. I needed a gun. I needed to get past them. Hope the painkillers were enough to keep me on my feet. Miller, mix him here. That was me. Almost got him in the lock. No, he was there. Making a run for it. Yeah, it's some gas bottles trying to get him. At the moor. I've got him trapped down here. Okay, hurry, over and out. Ugh. You're gonna get it, Maxine. How stupid can you get? You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. I'm coming for you! I let him down. He did everything. Mr. Payne! Mitchell, he's here. Get him. What is this? security guard had dropped his gun in the doorway.
unknown continues. construction site I had been ready to give myself in. There would have been no answers, no second chance. Nothing would be fixed. I had to solve the case on my own. Mona was still the answer. I caught glimpses of her out of the corner of my eye, felt her presence everywhere I went. I was trying to trace her path, recreate the winding course of the magic bullet in her head. I couldn't find her. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. The architecture of Alfred Woden's manor had its origins in European darkness along with the inner circle. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you.
The only true reason why men fight wars, love. The score on Mona Sachs? Next question. Fine. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. A renegade faction has pushed the society into a civil war. Everyone who resists is assassinated. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnitti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. Vlad had lied. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. I left Woden at the door of his panic room. By talking of fate, Vlad had been asking for my blessing to his plan to murder me. I've been keeping to the backbeat, reacting to Vlad's moves, cleaning up after him. No more. It started. Get in. Quick. It started. <laughs> All right. Once more, Captain Baseball Bat Boy has escaped Demon's Trap. But can he save Bicycle Helmet Girl before Maxwell's Demon turns the world <laughs> system? A Hollywood franchise that goes perpetually on forever? Go. Stop it. Find out in the next episode of the
anything. Through the door, and he'll see us ambush his ass and shoot him dead. Did you hear something? No, and you better shut up so he won't hear us. I think I should go take a look. No, you'll ruin the ambush. There, it's pain, pain. Look out! <laughs> cleaning company vans, the cleaner jumpsuits, the illegal firearms, the hard evidence that proved Vlad was behind it all. Okay, what's the score? Somebody come in here and tell me, huh? I can still hear gunshots. He's not dead yet. Of course he's not dead yet. The shattered only dies in the air. Well, Payne, I'm here, in the boss's office. Come on, I'm waiting. Let's finish this. I'm taking you so- Vlad and Mona were on a crash course. If I'd find one, the odds were I'd find the other. Vlad was after Vinny. He had left me a map to follow. He 
You have one new message. Vlad, it's me. Where are you? I need you. I'm on my way to the construction site now. Winterson. I'll do it. I'll take care of them both for you. I don't know. Is this a crime? Is it against the law to be happy? They haven't seen you with my boy. Haven't seen you with me. Miss you. Call me. The gilding on the mask had cracked to reveal the rot underneath. Winterson's confession didn't wash away my guilt. It made me feel worse. I had a meeting scheduled with Vlad at Vinny's place. Mark cleaners! Waste them! Get them before they get out! I was still a couple of blocks away from Vinny's place. I had to get moving. Crashed in from the street. Who was driving it? One of ours. They're in trouble. We gotta get him out of there. So long ago, the V tags had bloomed everywhere in the city. Now they only remain in the worst neighborhood, the monster's grave. Vinny's used car lot was up ahead. I had to find a way down to the street. Son of a bitch down for the count. <laughs> when we were hunting that undercover fed. What's his name again? Bang. Earth! My ass! Pain was his name! Pain! Why the hell are the reinforcements when he promised? Got him! Where the hell have you been? What took you so long? Where's the rest of you? You're the reinforcements Vinny promised us, right? Who else? Only it's just me. The cleaners got the rest. God damn it, they're killing us like flies! I guess one extra gun's better than nothing. Okay, let's go! Alright, we'll head to the lot. We need to keep those Russians away from the boss. Yeah, uh, keep them away from the... the captain. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I know it's nothing to laugh about. Deadly serious. The adventures of Captain Big Head got nitty. Hey, enough! We got a job to do! 
Raining cats and dogs here. For I'm a rain dog too. Stay sharp. Gonna rain something else too when the cleaners show up. Ruined. Oh no! No way! No, Pain, not you! Why does this keep happening to me? Pain, you gotta help me. There's a freaking bomb in here. If I take the head off, it blows. Bye bye, Vinny. You're a freaking cop. You gotta help me. How did this happen? The Russian tricked me. Join the club. I can help you get him. I can. I swear, you get me out of this, and I can help you get him. You've got yourself a deal. Report. They're coming to kill me! You gotta protect me! We gotta get out of here! Through the backyard! I didn't buy Vinny's promise to help me, but I was willing to do anything to complicate Vlad's plans. Pain! Cover me! Cover me! We gotta get through there! Pain, what are you waiting for? Don't let them get me! Kill them! Kill them! Ah. Sure. This way! This way, Pain!
way. Run! to the elevator up to my place. We'll get out through there. Let's go, Payne! Get him, Payne! You gotta protect me! We gotta get to the elevator! Cover me! This stuff is worth, I tell you, fucking much. Nothing nerdy about it. I'm a collector. Hey, lots of tough guys are into this stuff. Frankie was into this stuff. He was a fucking tough guy. Hey, just wait till I sell my collection online. Just you wait. Nerd. Hey, let's see who's the nerd when I'm a millionaire. We gotta get out of here somehow. Gotta figure something out. Think, Vinny. Think. When you want to do more than just talk. Go! The Adventures of Captain Ben... Let's go! We're gonna die! We gotta get away from 
we're gonna die! Why do you hate me? Close! Tane, get up to the ramp, quick! Lift me up there. We can get out through the hole. Get me the fuck out of here! Shit, 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 oh shit! Let's go, Tane, let's go! Not at all fun way. Penny needed Mona as much as I did. We'll try to find Mona Sachs. She can disarm the bomb. Are you crazy? She's just as bad as the Russian. She's part of the same fucking crew. You're delusional. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the fun house. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead, and she wouldn't have come after me. She came to get me through the fire. Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. 
poor guy. Poor bastard. Max. She found me where Vlad had left me, lying in a pool of Max. blood on her floor. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective, tied to time and place, love and friendship, life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Venice. Third time is the charge. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Venice stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Winterson. <laughs> In the dream, I was an invisible ghost, hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, the boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This a crime of passion. This one's yours, Payne. You're the only one who could solve the it. A bullet in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne, or you'll miss him. Oh. oh, his heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you gonna do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. Watch the question. 
Who is the original creator of Maxwell's demon? Back to entropy, of course. Oh, no, 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 wait. What do you mean? For real? The, the show's writer, Sammy Waters. Impressive, Vincent. But, unfortunately, incorrect. Maxwell's demon was created by James Clerk Maxwell, a 19th century British physicist. Unfair! Oh, man! You, you gotta give me another chance! Vinny, Vincent, I would love to. But rules are rules. No! No, no, please, no, please, don't kill me! Don't kill me! No, 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 please! Too late, my darling. Join me, and all's forgiven. We would make a brilliant couple. I am the king, and you could be my queen. In your dreams. <laughs> See? We are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Get her! Get the bitch! That won't help a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> Don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards, when you ask why me, and what if. When you look back, see the branches, like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. There! Alert! They're here! Damn! Mona! Damn. 
I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor and you take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming! Deeper into the building, look for Woden or Vlad. All right. Hostile contact. Of all my friends, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the Gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. Saxon Payne, they're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case.
dead end. Damn it. Here, let me. This way. Moment in the manor. She was working for Wood. Glad it told me the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved a fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. He's behind me! Hold him off! And give me a gun! Ah! We can still kiss and make up, Max! It's good that the women are out of the way. They only complicate matters. Take cover! Give He's in, off the of course. The panic room! To the panic room! They're gonna blow! Thank <laughs> you.
wrong with you, Max? Why don't you just die? You hate life. You're miserable all the time. Afraid to enjoy yourself even a little. Face it, you might as well be dead already. Do yourself a favor. Give up. Hey. these things, Max. One of these days, it's going to get you killed. Max, 
dearest of all my friends. I was supposed to be the hero. chance is to turn around and face it, but it's like kissing the lips of your dead love, darkness waiting in the hole of your mouth. It was almost morning, waking up from the American dream. We are willing to suffer to die for the things we care about, for love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. Is it worth it? Saying that it never is would be a lie. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes something good comes out of it, something you know you wouldn't deserve in a million years. such a damsel in distress. Something that gives you a reason to go on. NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! We need a paramedic team here. We have two survivors. I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. 